Hey guys, Jason the Expert SNS Live, powered by Sillings.com, and I have for you today the SH Figure Arts Super Mario set. Now, oh, I was so excited to get this, but my friend. Oh, oh. Hi everyone, Cora here. Um, Jason's taking a little bit of a nap, so I'm actually going to be doing this review today. Hooray! Let's get this out of the way. We don't need that anymore. Alright, as Jason said before, uh, he mysteriously passed out. This is the SH Figure Arts Super Mario. Look at this. The packaging is adorable. It looks, it has the bright yellow coloring from the games and the blocks. It has the little blocks and the question marks. And as you can see, it has all these little accessories. Actually, you know what? Let's take a look at them. Let's, let's stop looking at the box. The box is cool and all. But, set that aside. Now, like everyone knows with SH Figure Arts, they have the coolest little accessories. Here we have a little coin. It has a little stand. I'm just going to stab it in. Here we go. See? Look at that. It's a nice shiny coin. You can see the camera in the reflection. Woohoo! That's how shiny it is. It also has, if I can get it out, yes! A mushroom so you can grow big and strong and fight all the Goombas and Koopa Troopas that you want. How happy and cute. And the question block where you can put your little mushroom. Ta da! And of course, the mushroom has a little stand too. Well, not so much, but eh, we'll get to that in a second. But, enough of the accessories. You're all here for Mario. Hello. See? He's really poseable, too. For the fact that he has short limbs, they did a really good job. Look how that bends. So you can have your Mario jump up high. But he can also move him back and forth and sideways. Like They did a great job with this. I'm impressed. I'm always impressed when they come out with new stuff. But oh, what's this? Oh, that actually has something to do with our next part. Or the next box over here. Not only do you have all these little accessories to come with Mario, they also have other accessories that are sold separately. There was one with pipes, but nah, Jason didn't get that one for some reason. He's kind of lame sometimes. But he did get the one with the two empty blocks, the question block, it comes with a Goomba, and it has another coin. It also has this stand right here. Take it apart real quick. So you can put your question block on top of it. Now let's take this out and take a look at it, shall we? Again, move everything off to the side because it's not important anymore. Ah, it's messy. Sorry, folks. I'm new to this. Alright. So it comes with your empty block and your question block. As you can see, the question block is very... Or, that's not the question block, that's a brick block. Hello. You have another question block here. It has the little divots inside of it, see? Like they're little rivets. You just set them up on top. Oop, I put it on backwards. There we go. And now you have that. Woohoo! But like, like I said before, me, me, little Goomba. He doesn't move. It's a little sad. His little, I wish his feet little move, little feet moved. But that's all right. He's still angry and grumpy, and that's all you could ever want in a Goomba. You can either put him on the little grass. Look at that. Or set him beside it. But also, you have a moldable stand. And 
a new back for Mario. You just stick it on the back right there. And you take off his back. See, he's got a little, a little divot there, so you can just stick your nail in there and pop it off. And then, three little holes. Ta-da! Now he can float. Ooh. There's one thing I forgot. How could I forget? Take out the bottom here. There's a little hole. Ooh. And you can you could put it on the other side if you wanted to. That's totally up to you. And it comes with another coin. But what makes this coin much cooler than our previous coin? It has a bigger stand. So when you put it on, ah! If you don't send it flying, there it is. Like I just did. Got crooked. Oh no. You stick it right in there. Ta da! It sits up higher. Look at that. I can only move this back so far, people. I'm sorry. But, you stick Mario, you pose your Mario, we're going to do the generic jumping of victory pose. See? And stab it right into it. And knock everything over, apparently. Ah! 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 This is an everyday occurrence in my life, folks, I'm sorry. And fix him up. There we go. In reality, we probably should have put this one in the middle instead of the question block, but eh, who cares? Move it back. Give you a little Goomba. Or if you don't want him to have a coin. Oh, there we go. I guess I could have adjusted the camera instead. If you don't want him to have a coin, no worries. You can have a mushroom instead. Hey, this thing, all in all, it's this is a fantastic figure. I mean, with all of the little accessories that you can get for it and that come with it, it it's worth it. It's it's definitely worth it. But these are always worth it. Their attention to detail is astronomical. I've never seen any this kind of detail put into any other toy that you can actually pose and play with. Although I'm not going to be doing much playing with these. I'm just gonna. Pose it around. There we go. I'm picky. Actually, no. We're going to put another coin up there. There we go. And there you have it. This is SH Figure Arts' new Mario figure. And he is fabulous and wonderful. And if you like Mario, actually, no, if you love Mario, you're going to want to get this toy. Thank you very much for listening to me. And I think I should probably go take care of Jason. He hasn't moved since I uh, kind of pushed him out of the chair.